what you see here is the um, construction of a shower. Uh, the shower has um, pretty much a stepless shower. So the idea with it is that we are going to, in a space of like 60 by, by 44, we're going to install um, a set of um, um, a shower displays or fittings or fixtures that are going to make it um, really useful for many things. So what you see here, this knee wall that, that is going to hold um, the shampoos, whatever the, the coffee cup is, it's going to be um, you know, a nice shelf for the internal part of the shower. And it's going to be surrounded with glass, three-quarter tempered glass. Um, so, um, in order to do that stuff, you're going to need two elements. The first one will be the um, the valve itself, the shower valve, a shower faucet, or shower body that um, is going to control the temperature and the and the pressure. In this case, that's what we're going to do with the shower body or shower faucet. Then you're going to need a diverter, and the diverter is another. Uh, faucet like fixture that will direct the water to wherever you want to you know just kind of put it in this case I'm gonna have three shower sprays or shower bodies I mean shower jets also we're gonna have a, a handheld um, shower head we're gonna have a wall shower head and a ceiling shower head so if you notice we're gonna have a lot of different things and water will be coming out through different areas so we want to make sure that when we install it we install it in a way that that it makes sense that it will supply the water and the combinations that that are are possible so um let me let me continue let me show you how we're gonna um so what we have here is the shower body itself um you notice that you have some always some indication of what is up and down and normally i mean you can actually find the three outlets that you see here or sometimes you can find a fourth outlet and the reason is that that is, is to be used in a tub shower combination or what is called a full bathroom sometimes you know by adding those two features at the same time but in this case because we're going to direct the water to the diverter we don't need to use the bottom one so what i did is that i use a brass cap and uh, or plug and i put it inside there uh welded with you know with the um i'll say brass or copper um welding and paste um uh, materials that maybe you can see in other videos that I have about how to weld copper. Um, so what we're going to do now, you notice that I actually pull this stuff out, any plastic, whatever, because when you submit this to heat, you can melt some gaskets and things like that. So you want to make sure that you take the cartridges out or whatever is there. So let's continue with the assembling of our shower body. Before I finish closing all these walls, um, I almost made a mistake of closing that and not showing you what's going on. Um, okay, so here's the setup that I have for this uh, shower system. Um, the bottom valve is the one that provides the water and the pressure, the, 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 temp the pressure and the temperature. The top one is the diverter, like we saw before. Um, these three pipes over here are the jets, the water sprayers. This one is the handheld wire um, um, shower head, the one that has a hose that you can spray, uh, as, you know, however you want. And the top one over here is a regular shower head. And then the, the one on the ceiling is the one that will be connected with another thing. So uh, let me go over this really quick and see if maybe I'm able to explain myself what's going on. This divider has six positions, right? So um, what happens is that you want to determine which positions you want to in which section so you don't get confused. In this case, because I'm using four, four different type of setups or four different type of points of water spraying out. Or coming out so you want to make sure that you you connect this properly the first position will be here that will be for this shower head the second position will be this one that will be for the sprayer the third position will be for the jets and the ceiling um, uh, rain head the reason is that this one's and the rain head is more useful in spa type of feeling and and um you don't want it in this case to be connected with other things so what happens when you start changing the six positions that the first position will be here the second one will take this two the third one will take this one the fourth one will take this and this the fifth one will take that one the sixth one will take this and this so that's how it turns so you want to make sure that you determine which one so the bottom will supply the water the the the, the water will direct the water to wherever you want to go uh, what you see here is called PEX. Um, this material is um, it's plastic. It resists a lot of pressure, like 250, 220 pounds of pressure. Uh, you have plastic fittings and brass fittings. In some, some cases, you have to use the brass fittings, especially like in this female adapter. The male adapters can be plastic. The reason is the expansion and contraction, so they have some um, uh, caution with that. 
Uh, what you see here is called the drop ear elbow. Uh, these elbows have an, an inlet. It can be used in different types of setups, including copper or whatever. You find the one that is more convenient for you. But this one has, you know, three screws. So you want to make sure that all your parts are well screwed on the boards and all the stuff. You don't want to have that thing loose and stuff. Obviously, protector, the, I mean, you see that although we went through it, we want to make sure that we don't perforate that stuff and cause a lot of problems for the future. So we're going to go ahead and continue closing this and then I'll show you in the and you know, play it around how we'll, we'll have to start setting this up. Make sure that you maintain the, the levels, you know, depth according to what they say. So, uh, you know, go over all the instructions and all the stuff as, as they require. Well, I'm a little sick and then you're going to see a huge jump over here, but um, I, I installed these two parts over here, the, the ceiling uh, rain head. And what you see here is a chrome nipple and also a, uh, a cover for the ceiling. You want to make sure that um, these parts um, are, um, you know, well um, uh, installed. You want to make sure that you don't scratch it. So what I normally do is that I put some painter's tape on, on the tips of the, on the tips of the um, um, vice scripts. So, you know, it doesn't create scratches, but it will be pressure. There's other type of um, vice scripts that you can get that will help you to avoid scratching your surfaces. So that one was still over there, the same one on the wall. Just the typical, you know, connection, the one that comes with in this case. And now we have the, the body sprays over here, the jets. Uh, the jets, what you want to do, and these are um, brass nipples and we are extending them about a quarter inch from the from the surface over there for the sequence that we have in all the cases. Um, Teflon in both sides. In this case, um, that's the divider valve. The valve, um, you know, has to be placed that, that way, whereas that one has to be exposed. You want to make sure that when you install these valves, you follow the the finish guys guidelines in other words they have a certain depth you want to make sure that you maintain the depth because on some occasions um you will throw off the the trim um, uh, um excess or you know or maximum or minimum distances so you can adjust the thing so the sequence and i want to show you the body spray over here this one is called delta from delta these are the designs and not models they, are, they swivel in different grades, so that's why I put them over here that will be jetted on the side. Um, but that's, those are the ones. You have a female adapter, some springs, so obviously follow the, the connections or the sequence of connections on the um, instructions. Um, so, you know, with that, I'm going to start assembling, putting it together. Same thing with the hand sprayer over here uh, on the side. Previously, we put some, some wood behind it, so we have a nice solid surface in the back. So, let's continue. Um, the diverter valve is 
already was already installed so you have the different positions like we spoke before um, it's you know it's as simple as installing only the trim and the handle it doesn't regulate temperature what it does this is the one that will do that in this case um, the difference is this valve gives you um, the two things the pressure which is the big valve and the temperature with the internal um, handle that is here right the big, big handle and the little handle over here so um, you have this little uh, piece um, that if you notice it has like an H and a C so um, the idea that you want to make sure that you can regulate this so if you have like you know a, a an, an older couple or the master bathroom in this case you may want to bring it all the way to hot but if you have little kids you may want to consider not letting the valve go all the way to the, the hottest point so you don't you know, somebody will not burn um, after that you just install the screw that is provided there and then you leave it like that well, we're going to continue with the installation of the of the one or the you know the hand spray that's going on this um, now you can see that the uh, trim is finished um, also that you know um, what what I want to make sure is that you know you pretty much uh, remember the especially this part over here you want to make sure that it's supported really well use some uh, plastic anchors if it's necessary but in this case we had a um, piece of structural um, uh, stud in the back to hold the, the uh, I will say the bar the adjustable bar in place now uh, this is a good idea of how you can configure um, a particular size which I mean um, uh, configuration I will say or distribution of your shower elements um, and it can help a lot to you know to do whatever configuration you want so what I'm gonna do next is to install the glass enclosure and then I'll sh make you some test so you can see how it works so now that we have the all the elements installed um, I want to show you how it works I'll, I can contain the water inside the, the glass enclosure I will say so um, let me show you. As we know, we have the, the first part now that we can test it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first part, which is the, the upper one. I'm gonna move to combine the handheld and the one on the wall. I'm gonna continue with the handheld and the shower and the three body sprays. Actually, well, that's actually the, the only one. Here we go. So now we have the three body sprays. And uh, we have the handheld as well. Then we move to only the, the rain shower and the three body sprayers. And then we're gonna combine the, the wall uh, shower head with the rain and the three body sprayers. And then we go back again to the wall uh, shower head. So that's how it works in this case, but it can work in whatever pattern you want. Um, again, here we'll, we will be controlling the temperature and the pressure is here. So, I think that's a, a fairly good demonstration of how the system works. Um, I think it's a really cool um, way of you know, setting up your own shower. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much it. I, I hope you find this video um, educational. I like to make a lot of videos like that. So, uh, I mean, I do have a lot of videos teaching how to install the tiles, install the glass enclosures, install all these things, make these cabinets and all these things. So I hope you take advantage of that. You know, you can save a lot of money, a lot of headaches. So see all the mistakes that I make and make your own adjustments.